it's quite a common fault for people to try and change a light fitting and then when they've removed the old fitting they realise that they don't know where the existing wires are supposed to go so you've got a major problem then because your lights further down the, down the circuit will not work so you need to get that light working again so it needs wiring up correctly so I'm going to show you how to determine which is the switched live which is the wire that you need to identify to get this circuit working again once you've done that it is pretty straightforward uh, electricity is dangerous and so you need to follow the, the safety guidelines quite carefully although it's even uh, a lighting circuit and it's low amperage it's, it will still kill you the first thing you need to do before working on any, any electrical circuit is to isolate the supply this is really important you need to isolate it make sure that nobody else can switch it back on by accident so this, this is a split wire consumer unit and on one side you've got the sockets and on one side you've got the lights but to be on the safe side we're just going to switch everything off if you've got a, a washing machine that's running or anything just make sure it is switched off first before you do this or your computer it's best to go around the house switch everything off and, and be safe that's the main switch so every, everything is now isolated the electric's completely off so it's now safe to work on the circuit it's quite easy to explain this because the wires aren't covered here because I've just rigged this setup up to explain it to you so that's the, the circuit wire that goes into the ceiling rows and then that continues into the next light fitting now you can have quite a few of these on the same circuit breaker up to a maximum of, of 1200 watts so you, normally you'd have uh, one circuit breaker for the upstairs lights in your house and one circuit breaker for the downstairs lights in your house if you take a light fitting off and can't get it back on again to work properly all your upstairs lights will probably not work or all your downstairs ones or if it's in the mid circuit you may get a couple that won't work properly so you need to you need to know how to wire up a, a, a ceiling rose and it's really not that difficult once you know what you're doing and this wire here is what we call the, the switch wire and that just goes to the switch so you have a live wire going down to the switch and then it returns back up to the ceiling rows and that's what's called the, the switch live wire so it, it, it is quite simple and I'm going to show you now how to find the switch live wire using uh, a domestic test meter this is my test meter it's only a cheap one but it, it does the job uh, you can spend a few hundred pounds on one of these but for, for domestic use you only really need a, a cheap one like this what we're looking for is we need ohms to measure resistance and I also put it on the bleep test so that you know when you've got the correct wires so if we touch those two together now there should be no resistance there and the tester will bleep so now we're just going to test the wires and find the switch live wires now you can see here that you've got three brown wires and three blue wires it's easy to see you what the wire is actually doing but if you imagine that being in a ceiling and those wires are sticking out of a piece of plasterboard you haven't got a clue what the wires are doing so that's why we need the test meter so what we're going to do is we're just going to choose a cable like that and we're going to put one crocodile clip on one wire from that cable and one on the other from the same cable and the tester switched to bleep now so there's no continuity there else the tester would have bleeped so if we flip the switch there's nothing so I've put the probes on two wires from the same cable and the, the meter isn't reading anything it's not bleeped and when I flip the switch nothing happens so we know that those two are part of the, the circuit wires and they aren't the switched live wires that we're actually after so we can now move on to the next one there again I've chosen two wires from the same cable when you flip the switch nothing happens
Now we've put the, the two test leads on another cable on the two wires coming from the same cable. And when you flip the switch it creates a circuit. So we now know that those two wires are the two wires for the switch. So these are the two wires leading to the switch. So we, now we need to identify that particular wire there as a switched live wire. And we do that by either putting some brown sleeving on it or by putting some brown insulation tape on it. We now know that that is the switched live wire and now it's really easy to wire this lighting circuit back up and get it working again. So that was really easy, all I've done there is I've put the two circuit neutrals in the neutral block and then I've put the two live circuit wires in the central live block and one of the wires going to the light switch which is the switched live wire and the, the electricity travels down there to the switch when you press the switch it goes back up and energises that side that is the switched live wire. And then it's just a case of wiring up your lamp holder. So it's just a case of putting the neutral in the neutral side. And then the live in the switched live side. Now that we've wired that up correctly, it'll start working again hopefully. So now what you need to do is turn the electric back on. There you go, you can see that that one works. And that's a little light in another room, that one's working as well. So that's how to sort out the ceiling rows when you're taking your light down and, and your wires are mixed up if the live wire's not been identified. <laughs>